Hi, we are engineering brothers and uh, for the sake of intermediate circuit theory problem, I have given you some interesting insights or interesting problem over here and this is our last type of problem on capacitor. Okay, here you can see that two capacitor, the value of capacitor is 100 microfarad and 25 microfarad is connected in series with a 100 volt DC source okay and uh, our problem is very simple okay we need to find out the value of charge okay the value of Q for this both this capacitor okay and the another part is we need to find out the voltage across this capacitor also so what is the need we need to find out the value of VC1 which is our capacitor across our voltage which is VC1 and the voltage across our capacitor VC2 okay so this is our ultimate problem over here okay so without wasting any time if I do apply the KVL across this loop what is the equation minus a plus a plus 100 plus a minus a minus VC1 plus a minus a minus VC2 which is equal to 0 and if I do rearrange this equation, I have got this is our equation, final equation, VC1, VC2. If I take this VC1 and VC2 in the right hand side, I have got this is my first equation. Okay. Moving on, uh, if I would like to say that here, the charge is being distributed in between this two two capacitor or two capacitor part okay that is why charge is same for both this part as the charge is very 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 much similar with our current and by our basic definition we we know that the current is nothing but the rate of change of charge with respect to time okay that is why the charge for this capacitor or the charge accumulation uh, for this capacitor is similar with our current that is why for the series circuit as I have defined previously the current is similar or the current is uh, same which is flown through this closed path okay that is why I can say that as for the sake of similarity in between our current and the charge the amount of charge is same for both this capacitor also so if I do consider the amount of charge, so what is the equation? The equation is Q is equal to CV. Okay. Now for our first capacitor also, the voltage is our VC1. So C, B, C1 and the capacitor is say C1 or C1 is 100 microfarad. And as uh, the charge is same for both these, the charge across this uh, 25 microfarad capacitor is also same. And if I take uh, the capacitor value for the second capacitor, which is C2, and the voltage across this capacitor is been shown over here, which is VC2. Okay, so these two are equal. As these two are equal with our charge, over here and if I do put the value of C1 and C2 what is the solution here C1 is 100 microfarad 100 VC1 and in the right hand side this is 25 VC2 okay and lastly if I take the ratio of VC1 divided by VC2 VC1 divided by VC2 what is the ratio the ratio is upper part this is 25 divided by 100 okay and if I make the cancellation in between this 25 and 100 I have got the expression is 1 by 4 so this is our equation 2 and this is our equation 1 if I do solve these two equation uh, I will get the expression of VC1 and VC2 okay so without wasting any time, I like to solve this equation, 
which is this one. So VC1 plus VC2 is equal to 100. Okay. So what is the expression over here? Which is VC2 is equal to 4 VC1. Okay. And if I put this expression in this equation, what uh, what do I got? So VC1 plus 4 VC1. So instead of writing this VC2, I have replaced uh, this value over here which is and the total value in the right hand side is 100 ok so 5 vc1 means our 100 and vc1 means our 20 20 volt ok so this is our first solution and if I do replace this value of vc1 over here I have got the value of VC2 which is 4 into VC1 means 20 and the value is 20, 80, 80 volt. Okay. So I have got the expression of voltage across these two paths. So the value is the VC1 is 20 volt and the VC2 is 80 volt. I want to repeat this portion once again in order to complete, complete this mathematical solution or circuit theory problem. Always keep it in your mind that you have decided or you uh, will look at this circuit. You can feel that whether the circuit is connected in series or parallel. For the series, the current is same but the voltage is different. But for the parallel, parallel connection, I had shown you in my previous 6B or 6A problem. For the parallel connection, the voltage is same, but the current is different. This is a very small trick over here. Always keep it in your mind over here. And instead of considering the current, I have considered here the charge as the charge is our important factor and the expression of our charge is Q is equal to CV. That is why I have put this expression as this is with equal with our Q and in the previous expression is I have applied the KVL across this closed loop and I have got this expression and rearranging this expression I have got this is my first equation and the next expression is just like the current consideration the charge is same for both this capacitor and I have put the required expression and after solving this equation 1 and 2 I have got that the voltage across our capacitor 1 which is VC1 and the value is 20 volt and the voltage across our capacitor 2 which is VC2 and the volt and the value is 80 volt. So this is our uh, last problem on intermediate circuitry problem and I have chosen this problem in order to make more clear statement or to give uh, all of you the much more idea or much needed idea to solve uh, you because I my ultimate objective is to bring you or to inject you lot of confidence over here because if you don't do this type of mathematical problem by yourself then your confidence level will be always doubt uh, will be always down and you are always doubtful but engineering brothers main objective is to give you lot of confidence to solve this type of problem that is why without wasting any time or without uh, rejecting any type of steps I am going to show you each and every step over here to solve this type of problem and I am doing this in a more similar or in a more simpler way that is why I repeatedly telling you please do subscribe my channel hit the bell icon for more updates and stay tuned with my channel and spread this type of videos towards larger community because these type of problems are very very special and um, I am going to guarantee you that I uh, don't want to skip any type of steps but each and every problem I am going to solve each and every step that is why I am repeatedly telling you please do subscribe my channel and if you still have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the bell icon for more updates. So that is it. And thank you and goodbye.